Hello guys, what's up my Archfiends of Chaos? It's your King of the Night, Vince I'm EX Turk, with another Final Fantasy segment. And I have watched a little bit of Final Fantasy Peasants thing about Bahamut, which made me want to jog my theory about something else. That just, kind of related, but not related at the same time. Has Noctis ever stooped to the level of Arden? And I'm going to say yes, and some occasions. Now, this change sporadically happened after the death of Luna Freya. After Arden killed Luna Freya, Noctis' thirst for revenge turned him into a bloodthirsty, uh, a bloodthirsty, revenge-driven person, even enough to almost kill his best friend, Prompto, because of, you know, Arden's power to disguise himself as somebody else each and every time. You know, thus... Thus tricking Noctis thinking Prompto is Arden, you know, which of course, you know, Prompto figures out that Arden can do that, but nonetheless, which also prompted Pro Noctis's anger and quelled the darkness within Noctis, thus becoming a revenge thirsty hero, you know, pretty much like Kingdom Hearts Cloud. I don't know if anyone actually remembers the Omen trailer where you see a dark Noctis. But this brings out some points that it could be possible that Noctis <laughs> has given in to darkness. Just like the way the Kingdom Hearts version of Cloud did. Except this is actually the original game. Hence why Bahamut had to train Noctis. You know... In order to use his power com completely correctly. Because there's a good reason why Lucius Kyliums, you know, have to be tested to become a king, ascended kings of light. Regis was tested and was able to pass because <laughs> Regis had a pure heart. I think at one point, Noctis had a pure heart in the beginning of the game. But then, things took a turn for the worse when Ignis read a newspaper about Idolus' betrayal and the death of King Regis stirred the anger and hatred to Noctis. Just a little bit. And I think it spoon-fed that hate and anger that caused Noctis to get close to Arden's level of evil. Now, Noctis has not done what Arden has done, but, you know... If kept unchecked because Noctis is a Lucius Kylium, it could be possible that it could be possible that Noctis could end up like Arden. And this video really does hurt me because I like Noctis as a character, you know. But I have to make it because it's just something that I have to do. I have to make it, even if it's not going to be the best video or the or my favorite subject to talk about. I hate to talk bad about my heroes, but, you know, some, but there's got to be some criticisms. So, I think after the Niflheim Empire was the stuff that sparked Noctis' rage. There's a good reason why, another reason why Arden has did the things he did. What if it's possible that Arden is actually training Noctis? All this time, Arden was training Noctis. And that's why... He had to do the things he did to Noctis. He had to push Noctis to his breaking point. To the, po to the part where Noctis accepts the darkness. You know. So I think it's possible. I think it's, I th I, I think it's a possibility we could look into. I think it's a possibility that, that should be looked into. That maybe Noctis is given in a little bit. And maybe... It was planned by Arden all along. Maybe Arden wanted to show his parts of the story and show Noctis all this time of, of how he became how he was. Of course, Noctis never had any older brothers to get the power of the Lucius Kylian. You know, and Noctis world had no relationship to Eos except for the, the power he gets from her to stop Arden once and for all. But other than that, he doesn't. He's not really close to. He's not really close to uh, Eos at all. So it really does not make any sense at all that 
Noctis get I mean for uh, Noctis to fully turn to Arden, but Arden was planning to push Noctis even further. He probably thought, well, maybe that wasn't good enough. Maybe if I pushed a little bit more, but act like I was an ally, and then betray Noctis in the end and kill Luna Freya, which pushed Noctis as breaking point because that was the woman he loved. And then he turned to Noctis' best friend, thus Prompto feeling betrayed and Prompto going through the horrible experiences of episode Prompto. This pushed Noctis at this pushed Noctis at a point where. The only thing he could think about is killing Arden. You know, the only thing he could think about is killing Arden. You know. So yes, in some cases, Noctis has went to the dark side once in a while. Even without the Scourge, he has. You know. And I think even Regis has reached levels there too because when Arden has entered the throne room, the first thing Regis the first thing Regis wanted to do was to kill Arden. That was his first goal was to brutally murder Arden. Considering his face, like you were so bold to bring you know, only yourself with no protection. Because Everybody, like, Arden is known for his evil. Arden is known for his evil. He's known to be a huge sympathizer of the Niflheim Empire. I mean, he is their chancellor. You know, and that's like a huge governing p position, you know. And to Lucius Kyliums, you know, he's known as a traitor. At least to the ones that didn't did know him because remember his name has been hist erased from history so many times but th th this is not a video about Arden this is a video about Noctis and yes this is exactly why Bahamut had to put Noctis in his sleep stasis for 10 years so Noctis could do mental training and you gotta do mental training to break yourself off or you'll end up like Arden Hence why the, with the Knoxville rays, why they when they cure the scourge and stuff like that, they die from a disease so they don't end up being like Arden. Because Arden ruined it for Arden has ruined it both for the Knoxville rays and the Lucius Kyliums. You know. You know, Knoxville rays die earlier so they don't end up being what Arden is. As well as not as Lu uh, as Lucius Kyliums had the potential to be just like Arden. Because Lucius Kyliums household family is a very emotional bloodline. You know. Not everybody did what was good. In fact, Azunia and Bahamut and Azunia has actually kickstarted Arden's actions. Thinking they're, they're righteous. But the Lucius Kylam household are very emotional people. And like I said about emotions. It could be good or bad. Depending how emotional you are. You know. If say Prompto actually did die. You know. You know. By Arden's hands. I think this would have drove the other ending. This would have drove the Omen ending. If one of the bros died by Arden's hand. This would have this would have drove Noctis so much further to insanity that he will become part of the Star Scourge and get the and, and get the red uh, crimson armbager just like Arden has and that's why the Omen trailer makes so much sense and I think they had plans for the Omen trailer to be just if Noctis went evil you know because it's possible. It's possible Arden has played with Noctis's mind to the point where Noctis himself cannot focus. You know, so Bahamut put him through the training and that's how he was able to defeat Arden as well because he became the pure king of light, drowning all the evil out of his system to defeat Arden once and for all. So tell me what you think about this theory. May the crystal be with you. Do you like this theory? Do you not like it? Do you think I've gone mad? Let me know in the comments. 
Also, don't forget to watch my uh, Chocobo Hangout stream. It's on YouTube now, so may the crystal be with you. And and say yay to the end of the scourge. <laughs>